If you don't know what IBS means, it stands for Irritable Bowel Syndrome, and it is very common and correlated with type 1 diabetes. Now, what is interesting in my experience working as a physician is that a lot of people don't know what healthy gut habits are or what healthy gut function looks like. It's not uncommon for people to come to the practice and say, oh, I have two bowel movements a week, but it's been that way my whole life not knowing that it's more ideal for someone to have a bowel movement every single day or for someone to say that I always have loose stools or I frequently have loose stools and that's just how I've always been so I didn't know it was abnormal. A lot of families don't talk about these things and bowel movements and gut function because it can be something that's hard to talk about especially in some cultures, family norms and so it goes undiscussed, meaning that people don't learn what's healthy and normal. And so later on in life, they find that they've been having challenges with their gut health and they weren't aware of it. So that being said, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, is a diagnosis of exclusion, what we call in medicine. A diagnosis of exclusion basically means that you have a constellation of symptoms and we've ruled out the most common causes of those symptoms. So we don't know what's causing it and we will call it this disease, irritable bowel syndrome. It doesn't necessarily tell us why, it just describes the symptoms at their frequency. IBS is diagnosed through the Rome 4 criteria, which really looks at the frequency and severity of symptoms. 